Hey everyone, it's Nick and I am back to talk some more Halloween kills. What I want to do today is rank the characters that are returning to the franchise from the characters that I'm least excited about until I'm most excited about. And by that I mean uh, the five characters uh, that are returning uh, to the franchise from Halloween 1 back in 1978. Not anyone that was in 2018 or anything like that. Most of these characters haven't been there, haven't been in the franchise since Halloween 1. A couple of them showed up in uh, Halloween 2 1981, which doesn't exist in this timeline. Um, but I want to rank them. So there's five of them, like I said. Starting right off the bat at number five, the character I'm least excited about returning is going to be Lindsay Wallace. Now, I know Lindsay uh, was there in 1978. Uh, it was her house that Michael did most of the killing. She uh, was over at Tommy's house. Um, you know, Lori was watching her too after Andy dropped her off. But she just doesn't really bring much to the table in this movie since Tommy's returning. Tommy, who I'll get into in a minute, um, was kind of our voice as an audience. Uh, but Lindsay was just kind of there. You know, they needed her. She was a plot device. They needed her house great fucking house don't get me wrong and uh you know i guess she's kind of important because annie was watching her uh, but other than that you know i don't really i'm not really going to have too much insight into her um the fact that kyle richards is some real housewife uh doesn't excite me either uh it's cool that the original actress is coming back um but other than that it doesn't really excite me so that's why she is at number five Coming in at number four could be a little bit of a surprise to most of you, and that is going to be who I was just talking about, Tommy Doyle. Tommy, I am actually very excited to come back, but the fact that he's at number four shows you how excited I am about some of the other characters coming back. Tommy, as I was saying, was kind of the voice of the audience. You know, he saw Michael standing outside uh, Lindsay's house. You know, Michael followed him at the school. Um, you know, he was the one that kept asking Lori about the boogeyman, you know, the boogeyman's outside. So it'd be very interesting to see how that affected Tommy's life. Um, Anthony Michael Hall, who I think actually looks like Tommy Doyle would as an adult, um, is a good actor, and I think he'll uh, bring some coolness to the character. Uh, but it'll be very interesting to see how uh, the shape uh, in 1978 affected Tommy's future 40-some-odd years later. So he is at number four. Coming in at number three could be the big shocker. Three is going to be Lonnie E. Lamb. Now, before all you change the channel, let me explain a little bit. So Lonnie was kind of the bully. Um, you know, that, that was strictly his purpose. Uh, you know, he um, was with one of the kids that pushed Tommy down uh, when Tommy broke his pumpkin. You know, he was the one that told uh, Tommy about the boogeyman. So why am I excited about him to return? A um, couple of reasons. Number one. The flashback. Uh, we all know that Lonnie is going to see Michael in 78 uh, during the flashback scene. And as much as I don't want them to fuck with the original, now that some time has passed, I'm kind of excited for it. Uh, I want to see what happens in this flashback scene. So that's number one. And number two, Lonnie's going to fucking die brutally. Uh, you know, he was a bully as a kid. Whether, so, you know, he's the most expendable character whether he, you know, has a change of heart and ends up sacrificing himself uh, remains to be seen. I kind of think that's how it's going to go. Um, but I am excited to see his death scene. I think it's going to be absolutely brutal. Um, and just for good measure, Lonnie, get your ass away from there. Um, but yeah, so Lonnie is at number three. Coming in at number two is going to be Sheriff Brackett. You let him out! Which, remember, didn't happen. But uh, I'm excited to see Brackett. Um for what it looks like, he's going to be a security guard at the hospital. Um, obviously not chief of police anymore. He's pretty fucking old. But Michael killed his daughter. So I want to see uh, how Lee Brackett is now. He could uh, you know, kind of be like Lori where he's kind of had a vendetta for the last 40 years. You know, he's been warning people. We don't know. Maybe he went and visited Michael in the asylum like some parents do after uh, a child is killed. We don't know. I want to know what he's been up to. I want to know what he thinks about that night in 78. I want to see a conversation between him and Lori in the hospital talking about Annie and what happened. I really am excited to see that. So that's why he comes in at number two. 
And number one, uh, seems like an expendable character as well, but I'm most excited to see Nurse Marion Chambers back. Now, we know that Marion Chambers was in the car in the original. We knew she came. We know she came back in Halloween 2, 1981, uh, with uh, on the governor's orders to take Loomis away, and she was at Haddonfield Memorial when it blew up. We know that Michael killed her in Halloween H2O to find where Lori was in California. But remember, Halloween uh, H2O and Halloween 2, 1981 do not exist in this timeline any anymore. So here's why I'm excited about Marion to come back. After Michael was captured again, which we don't know how, but there were some years that passed, uh, which I assume that Dr. Loomis was alive. Marion's going to be our, our voice inside the mind of Dr. Loomis. Think about all the great speeches that Loomis might have had between <clears throat> the time Michael was captured and that by the time he uh, supposedly died. Marion can give us a light into that. That's why I'm excited about her. She's kind of our voice and uh, kind of our eyes into uh, what Dr. Loomis thought after that night in 1978. So I'm super, super excited to see what Marion Chambers has to say. So that's my list of ranking the returning characters. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks.